Now let's convert both slanted wall composite structures to complex profiles. Select the slanted wall end segment. Activate the options. Complex Profiles. Capture Profile of Selection menu command to create a new complex profile based on the existing slanted wall structure. As a result, the Profile Manager palette and the Custom Profile tab will be opened. In this tab, you can use fills to create and edit the vertical cross-section profile that's extruded perpendicular to the profile's plane. Please note the origin of coordinates relative to where the section is placed. This origin matches the location of the element reference line. As for composite structures, you can set the availability of complex profile element types using the Use With buttons in the Complex Profile palette. Select the central masonry brick fill and offset its top edge downwards. Type D120, press Enter, and deselect this fill. Alt-click on any insulation mineral hard fill to pick up its parameters. Delete both insulation fills. Create two guidelines, one on the bottom, and another 20 millimeters below the top of the structure. With the fill tool active, space click in the empty area of the structure to fill it with insulation mineral hard. Select the left hand plaster lime sand fill. In the info box, choose polygonal geometry method and extend it to the right one using the Add to Polygon Pet Palette command. Add the right-hand plaster lime sand fill to the selection. Then activate the Edit, Reshape, Fill Consolidation menu command. In the upcoming Fill Consolidation dialog, choose the Merge Identical Fills regardless of their outlines and click OK. Remove all guidelines and deselect the fill. In the Profile Manager palette, check the Vertical Stretch checkbox. This will allow us to change the wall height without changing the complex profile attribute. Please note the two long dashed lines that appeared on the upper and lower edges of the wall. These lines define the boundaries of the stretchable area of the structure. For now, our structure contains too many hotspots. These unnecessary hotspots will only interfere during the wall editing process. Activate the hotspot tool in the toolbox. Hold down the shift key and select all the hotspots except for those on the outer corners of the structure. Press delete or backspace. Hold down the shift key and select all the hotspots except for those on the outer corners of the structure. Press delete or backspace. Push the store profile button, enter the name slanted wall end, and click OK. Activate the Zero Ground Floor tab. Add the second slanted wall end segment to the selection. And push the Apply button twice in the Complex Profile palette. As you can see, these walls are now using a complex profile structure. Deselect the walls. Select the central part of the slanted wall and activate the options, Complex Profiles. Capture Profile of Selection command again. Push the Store Profile button. In the upcoming dialog, type the name, Slanted Wall, and click OK. Delete the unnecessary hotspots. 
Do not modify any fills because we'll edit them a bit later. Activate the vertical stretch checkbox. When done, refresh the profile using the Apply button. Go back to the zero ground floor and push the Apply button in the complex profile palette. Close the Profile Manager palette and press Escape to deselect the wall. Now press Fn plus F4 on Mac or Ctrl plus F5 in Windows to show everything in 3D. As the final step, select both end segments of the slanted wall. Scroll through the info box, override their end surfaces, and deselect the walls.